Hey everyone, either welcome back or welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I want to talk about why I'm particularly concerned about the winter or colder months this year as compared to previous years. So before I get into any more details, time for the intro. Back in 2018, I was diagnosed with IIH. IIH is short for idiopathic intracranial hypertension. In short, in IIH, there is an increased intracranial pressure without a known cause. IIH is known by two older names, pseudotumor cerebri and benign intracranial hypertension. Living with IIH is very hard to explain to others, as it can be hard to tell when I'm not feeling well. My hope is that through these videos, we can learn together and help make relationships better through a better understanding. I also hope to provide people living with IIH a community so they never feel like they are alone with this condition. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell down below so that you get updated about further videos. I upload new content every Monday and Thursday afternoon. I live in a fairly cold climate for a majority of the year. So from about, well, technically it can start in as early as well, September, and not lift until the end of May, if we have a really, really bad cold season. But usually, on average, it tends to get uncomfortably cold by about middle of November until middle of April, usually is kind of the time when it's really can be uncomfortable. So, and by uncomfortable, I mean temperatures below minus 20 degrees Celsius. It isn't really possible to spend a lot of time outside unless you're properly dressed up. And then once you start getting to minus 30 temperatures, it actually starts to become a little bit dangerous to be outside. And so these temperatures can happen as early as again, middle of November and not lift until the end of April. So it can be a long period of time. Just something important to note about winter is that temperatures are often very cold, but the wind can make it feel so much worse. This is called wind chill. A day that is minus 15 degrees Celsius, five degrees Fahrenheit can feel like minus 25 degrees Celsius or minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit or even colder as an example. So now that I'm done explaining kind of what I mean by colder temperatures, I want to talk about why I'm particularly concerned about it this year. So while we have our colder temperatures, we're often stuck inside. The biggest thing I'm concerned about this year in particular has to do with those of us with chronic illnesses who don't actually tend to get out a lot unless we're going to appointments or we have things to do such as errands to run or we're going out with friends or family for a once or once every couple of weeks dinner at a restaurant. I'm not getting out as much as what I normally do. And right now I'm able to remedy this with going out to the trails for walks and being outside in the backyard, even if it's just for half an hour, an hour a day when it's comfortable to be outside. And with the colder months, this just might not be possible for us to do. It depends on if it's going to do what it's been doing for the last couple of years here, where it'll get really cold for a few days and then it'll warm up, give us a little bit of a break and then drop again, or if it's going to do what it did four or five years ago and it dips into cold temperatures, freeze for two months in a row and not warm up until the spring. It just depends on what kind of a winter it is, on what the winter is going to be like. I'm hoping that we get a winter in scenario one, because if we get a winter in scenario one, I'm not going to have really much of an issue with getting outside because I'll be able to go outside while we have those breaks. And so it won't be as bad. I probably won't be able to go out to the trails. It's pretty far away from where I live now, but it honestly depends on how warm it is. There might be some exceptions. I know that when I was in my second or third year of school that actually I did 
get out to the trails when I was home from my November break. We actually got a midterm break in November when where I went to school. It's not usually that common. As long as I had a fall jacket on, I could go out to the trails, no problem. I'm hoping that that happens again this year. It's definitely not a guarantee that it's gonna happen. If we do get a winter though, where it freezes really, really suddenly and doesn't warm up again, it's going to be very, very difficult. If we can get occasional breaks, even where it warms up to minus 15, minus 10, it'll be a lot better than if it just decides to freeze and never let off. It'll be a very long winter if it does that. I'll have to probably think of other ways to remedy this situation as it comes out. Unfortunately, this will be unknown until it happens, so you kind of have to deal with the weather changes as they happen. You can kind of plan for different scenarios and what how you might handle it, but unfortunately, there's just no good way to handle it without actually experiencing it. Like it's very day to day on what you decide. And I believe that's kind of everything I want to cover. Like I said, this is just something I want to bring up because I don't think many people really think about this. For those of us who are unable to have a normal routine because our chronic illness keeps us from being a part of a normal routine, like, migraines and IIH can prevent people from working and it can become very isolating. I know that a lot of the stories that came out with quarantine, some people did a lot better because they didn't feel the burden of having to let others down on meeting them to go places and all of that. Well, at the same time, we also kind of felt quite isolated because we weren't getting out at all at that point. I know I kind of experienced a little bit of both, but it was a little bit more towards the positive side because I am more naturally introverted, so I don't mind being alone. I can be alone for quite a while myself before I actually start to feel isolated. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And as for now, that's it for today. Bye everyone.